everyone, welcome back to Art a la Carte. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a dog with short fur. A lot of my videos have shown you how to draw dogs and other animals with long fur, and I've shown you a lot of techniques for that, but how to get a realistic short fur. So we're going to go ahead and do that. For materials, all I'm going to use today is some paper. I'm going to use two different types of pencils. One is going to be just a very light lead, so I'm going to use a B pencil, and then I'm going to use a really dark lead, and I have a 6B pencil for that. I'll use an eraser and a pencil sharpener, so that's all you'll need. So of course, first, as always, I always start drawing up my, um, whatever I draw, using my shapes. So I'm going to start off, start off with a shape, or a circle for the dog's head. And I'm going to actually put this in a different position than I normally do. So not only is it going to show you how to draw a short hair dog, but kind of a different standing position. I usually draw just profiles, and so this one's kind of a curved profile. So I'll show you what this means. So my head's here, and I'm actually going to have the dog looking off in this direction. Like he's kind of looking at a three-quarters angle towards us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find out where the end of his snout is going to go. And when I find where that end of the snout is, I'm just going to put a little circle there. And that's going to help me do my foreshortening, bringing that snout up and around. And I bring his muzzle around and down. Now that's a little bit maybe tricky for some people. Um, so look at some different reference photos and you'll kind of see what I'm doing here. Or you can always just have your, your dog looking off in just like that direction. So I'm going to put his ears and I'm just going to block him in just kind of a, a triangle shape. I'll put in his other eye over here, so you kind of see how he's looking. And then I'm going to bring down his neck. And he has just a really nice, lean neck there. Now I'm going to put in just a circle for his chest. I'm going to put a nice larger circle there. And then as it comes up for his back, see he's kind of looking this way. So instead of putting his backbone going this way, I'm curving him around. So it's actually his back is going to go this way. So I'm I'm just going to draw on that backbone, and I'm going to put a smaller circle for his back hips. So I'm going to bring up the underside of him, and you'll see that so he's really nice and broad in the shoulders, and then as he goes back towards the hips, he gets a little bit leaner. Now we're going to go ahead and bring his legs in, and I'm just going to block those in just with some straight stick lines, and he has really long legs. He's a long, tall dog. He's made for running and jumping and all that good stuff. So I'm going to block in his back legs. I'm just keeping it very simple. This is allowing me to go, okay, I want to bring this leg in a little bit closer, or maybe I want to move this, this forward just a little bit more like this. It allows me to fix those without putting a ton of detail in there. And I'll go ahead and symbolize his paws by kind of just putting some little circles at the end. And then of course his tail, and I'm going to bring his tail out a little bit. He's a bit of a happy dog, so his tail is wagging. Alright, so I've got him kind of stick formed out in the body. I have a little bit more detail in the face than I have the rest, but um, his body's all kind of blocked in. So I'm going to go ahead and then just begin sketching in a little bit more of the muscle structure. So as his legs kind of come off the chest, they just get really thin and lean and not a lot of um, muscle in, in, the, in the actual leg. Once it leaves the shoulder, they just really lean out a little bit there. So see how I originally drew his leg out here. But because I drew it just really um, loose and, and all this, I can change that if I want to. And again, the best way is to get yourself some good reference photos. Take a look at... Um, what these animals actually look like, how their how their legs and, and bodies are built. And then add in his little paws at the bottom there. I get a lot of requests in my videos for, especially um, wolves, how to draw wolves doing lots of different things. And I've gotten uh, a pretty good amount for how to draw other dog breeds. So this is one of my first kind of videos breaking away from um, the wolves into other uh, dog, how to draw dog videos. So if you enjoyed seeing other kind of breeds of dogs, uh, let me know in the comments what breeds you'd like to see or if there's other specific animals that you'd like to see. Leave that in the comments because I definitely want this to be something that you 
guys want to see. Okay, so again, I'm bringing the underside of the belly up and making it nice and thin. And then I'll put in his back legs. And just kind of round, around and down. So you can see that the bone, how that bone goes like this. So you want to round that, the muscle kind of around that. So it bends here to kind of where their knee is and back to the back part of their leg and then down. And this kind of wraps around the hunch of the, kind of the round of the back of the rump and then kind of goes back here to the back of the leg and then gets really thin from there. And same thing over here. And again, we're just doing this all in pencil so that we can erase things and change things however we want. And the distance between the back of this leg and the paw is, is a lot shorter than from here to here. It's not going to be even half and half. You're going to see a lot um, a lot less distance between these two parts. So put in, just block in his little paws there. And then bring out his tail, which is just an extension, comes right off the backbone into the tail. So it just flows right like this. And he's a short-tailed dog, or short-tailed. <laughs> he's a short-haired dog, so you don't have to do that jaggy line that we would normally do on a dog that has long fur or a shaggy coat. Don't have to do any of that. You can just kind of warp this around the muscles. All right, now that we have our dog drawn out the way we want him and everything's looking good, then I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser, clean up this drawing, and then come in and add in some final detailing. When you've got everything finished being erased, then you're going to go back in and put in those final lines that you're going to have for your outline. This is where you're going to take your time and make sure that every line is exactly the way you want it. I'm going to switch over now to my darker pencil, and this way my line's going to be a lot crisper. The thing I have to watch for, and if you do decide to use um, a softer lead like the 6B, is I'm going to start from this end and work over because I'm left-handed. I don't want to start here and work this way because my hand will rub up against my dog and I will get smears on my hand to smear my picture. So if you are right-handed, then you would take and you would start from the left side of your page and work over this way. And that'll help to um, deter any kind of smudging. So you'll see the difference while I'm drawing this dog is that I'm keeping my lines very smooth. I'm flowing over the, the muscle structure instead of giving it um, kind of the jagginess at the bends, I'm just flowing this line across. It's gonna give the appearance that, that the dog has short hair. Now this is easier, I think, than drawing a shaggy dog, but also you really have to know what kind of muscles are going on where. Um, because if you don't, it's you can't cover it up with a shaggy fur. Um, you have to really know your anatomy of your animal. So study some reference photos if you're not quite exactly sure how things go so that you can see and best design the muscle and bone structure of your Dalmatian. All right, so I have him all drawn out. He's he's lined in the way I like him. Now, before I get into actually putting in his spots, which is the best part, I'm going to add a little bit of shading first. So I'm going to take the side of my pencil, and I'm going to then begin to very lightly just begin to apply some shadowing. And I'm going to do this first because I don't want to smear my spots. So I want to keep my spots really clear. So I'm going to do this beforehand. So I'll find which direction I want my light source coming from. So I want it coming kind of from this direction. So I'm going to shadow in or shade in on this side. And I don't want to add too much because I don't want him to be a gray dog. I really want um, a really good contrast between light and, and dark with the spots on my Dalmatian. So I'm just very carefully adding in my shadows. And I can add in more shadows after I put my spots in, but I'm just going to go ahead and lay in the initial shadow. Okay, now that I have a little bit of shading added, now you can go and have fun with, with the spots. And each Dalmatian is going to be a little bit different. So have, have fun just creating the your own little individual spots and patterns and styles to your Dalmatian. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed drawing your own Dalmatian dog. I would love to see what you created. So please um, post your pictures on my Facebook page or my Instagram. 
and you can find those links in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you did enjoy this video, liking to see kind of specific breeds of dogs, um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the box below to uh, let me know what you would like to see, what next, what breed you'd like to see next. And I will just kind of go with popular demand on that one. So until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.